Hi students, now we will try to understand what are advanced organizers. The session outline is on advanced organizers and the two principles behind advanced organizers. At the end of this module, you will be able to define advanced organizer and identify the two principles behind advanced organizer. What is an advanced organizer? It is a tool, it is a learning aid, whatever facilitates learners to integrate new information to the existing knowledge is an organizer. When it is given to the students in advance, it becomes an advanced organizer, especially when something to be learnt is new and when there exists no previous knowledge regarding that concept, we have to give some concepts or main concepts in advance so that they act like ideational anchorage. As when we want to explain about the learning theories, we just give them the two main schools of thought, behaviorism and cognitivism. Similarly, when we want to teach students about different regions on earth, we give them the classification of the earth into the main regions like equatorial region, polar region, etc. And then slowly go on explaining. So, these main concepts become advanced organizers and once they know this, whatever in detail we explain about them helps them to integrate this information into their existing knowledge. When whatever we learn makes sense, it becomes meaningful learning. When does it make sense? when it gets connected to the previous knowledge. How can we connect it to the previous knowledge? We have to bring to the surface the relevant previous knowledge which is already there in the learner's cognitive structure. That is why whenever we teach, we try to introduce the lesson by asking questions regarding the previously covered matter related to that particular subject. The advanced organizer is also called as the overall all inclusive concept or the main concept or the subsumer because it gives the learners a bird's eye view or the big picture of the topic to be learnt. And more general concepts are organizers. Then under them whatever specific concepts come, they will get subsumed or included so that in the mind of the students, the information automatically starts getting organized and hooked under the main concept or the organizer. What is an advanced organizer? Whenever we want to teach something new while introducing the lesson, we tell something about the background of that particular concept or whatever has been covered in the previous class. So, we are bringing the previous relevant knowledge to the conscious level in the minds of the students. This work is done by advanced organizers. What are we doing when we are introducing a lesson? We are in advance giving to the students some organizers so that whatever we teach today gets automatically hooked to the knowledge which they already have. There may also be chances where the knowledge which we want to give to them or the concepts we want to teach is new. What do we do then? Then Ossibel says we have to give them organizers in advance. For example, in beard you are all learning theories of learning you do not have any past knowledge about it. So, when I tell you the two schools of thought and try to help you to make concepts of behaviorism, cognitivism and constructivism in your minds, in fact I am giving you advanced organizers. Similarly, when we want to teach about assets and bases, we give the information about the basic litmus test, acids being sour to taste and the basis soapy to touch, we are giving the advanced organizers. In algebra, when we have to do 
addition, subtraction, multiplication, etc. The basic rule which we give as plus into plus is plus and plus into minus is minus, minus into minus is plus. These are the advanced organizers which we are giving to the students. Similarly, if you are teaching geography, you want to teach about the different countries, but before that you will give them the division of the whole earth into different regions, the equatorial region, the polar region, desert region and such classification becomes an advanced organizer. So, in this way we should either bring to the surface the relevant knowledge which is already there in order to continue that lesson or if the lesson is new and we have to teach new concepts, we will have to give in advance certain organizers and then start explaining about them so that whatever we say makes sense to the students. Making sense means the present explain, explained concepts go and get themselves hooked to the previous concepts which are already there in the minds of the students. This is called subsuming, presenting the main concept first then explaining it further so that the smaller concepts can go and hook themselves in the minds of the students under the relevant concepts is called the process of subsumption. And these main concepts therefore are called subsumers. The primary idea behind advanced organizer is that the information has to be connected to each other. How to make it happen? bring the previous knowledge and link the new knowledge to the previous knowledge. Start with something which happens in their daily life and explain to them about the cause and effect relationship or the processes involved. So, this new knowledge becomes meaningful when it is linked to the previous knowledge, it is as simple as that. But then in order to teach in an organized whole, it is necessary for the teachers to start with the main concepts and slowly go on differentiating into the specific concepts. In short, starting with general and going towards particular involves organization and that is the primary idea behind advanced organizer. The principles behind advanced organizer are basically two, progressive differentiation and integrative reconciliation. Two main ideas or processes involved in advanced organizers. In order to make knowledge organized, there are two principles involved, progressive differentiation and integrative reconciliation. We will understand this with the help of an example. The simplest example can be knowing about living beings. Living beings can be broadly classified into plants and animals. Under plants, they can be further classified into flowering and non-flowering plants. Then these plants again class can be classified into herbs, shrubs, trees and so on. Similarly, when you come to vertebrates, under animals, we further classify them into vertebrates and invertebrates. Under invertebrates, we will go on as per the evolution classifying them into protozoa, single celled animals, then sponges, then worms and so on. Under vertebrates, we will go on classify them, classifying them into fishes, amphibians, reptiles, mammals and so on. So, this is called progressive differentiation. First, give the students all inclusive concepts. For example, plants involve all the plants animals involve all the animals and then the next main concept is in plants flowering and non-flowering plants and in animals vertebrates and invertebrates. All this can be explained very well with the help of graphic organizers, concept maps and flow charts. Once the progressive differentiation takes place, then it is necessary to bring in integrative reconciliation. What does that mean? If progressive differentiation is analysis of the main concept into subconcepts, integrative reconciliation involves synthesizing the information from the bottommost uh, part of that organizer towards the main concept 
that is called class inclusion so to say. So that we realize that oh these fishes, amphibians and others are nothing but vertebrates, they all come under vertebrates. Vertebrates are nothing else but animals, animals are living beings. So we do that in a reverse order. So, both progressive differentiation and integrative reconciliation is involved in any kind of organization and once the teacher knows how knowledge gets organized, it becomes very easy for us to start with the main concept which is called a, an advanced organizer or subsumer and go on explaining so that progressive differentiation gets facilitated. And after bringing out the analysis in the form of a flow chart, start again from the bottom most part of the flow chart and go on explaining so as to come to the main concept. Not only that, when we say we have to reconcile, reconcile the knowledge which students have got, we teach natural resources under geography, we teach natural resources under science also, we teach solar lunar eclipse under geography also and under science also. When the students are able to realize that solar eclipse and lunar eclipse whether it is geography or science it is the same. Similarly natural resources whether we learn under geography or science is the same. We are enabling students to reconcile the knowledge which they have got. All this facilitates in forming clear concepts in the students and helping students to make the verbal learning textual learning meaningful. Let us take an example as to how to make learning meaningful. Let us take a general concept mammals, if you want to teach them about the mammals characteristics. So after explaining about the general characteristics of mammals, we can classify them into herbivores and carnivores. What are herbivores? Those mammals which are dependent on herbs or which do not eat animals, they are herb, herbivores and then again go ahead specifying the characteristics in them which enables them to remain herbivores and so on and the other one will be carnivores and then go on explaining them about the different characteristics which are in there in animals which live in the forest and which enable them to eat animals and so on and toward the end in the last a part of the flow chart we will give the examples like under herbivores we will be giving the examples of uh, uh, giraffe, deer, sheep and so on and under carnivores we will be giving the examples of wolf, lion, tiger and so on. So we are in fact moving from mammals which is highly general to examples the actual name of the animals which are highly specific and this is done very gradually progressively and this is called progressive differentiation. After analyzing a particular concept and knowing everything about it from general to particular it is necessary for us to again go back and include these sub concepts so as to understand that these together will lead us to the main concept. This part involves the synthesis of the knowledge from specific towards general and also transfer of knowledge from one area where it is learned to the other. For example, when we start with the same uh, animals, oh this, there are so many animals which are present. Some eat plants and some eat animals and giraffe and elephant, deer, uh, sheep, all these are herbivores. And then these are nothing but mammals and similarly here whatever animals we have studied that live in the forest, they are wild animals, they are carnivores, some of them are carnivores like lion, tiger and others, they live in the forest but nevertheless they are also vertebrates, they are also mammals. So in this way when we are able to reconcile that is whatever confusion in the form of duplicates arise, we realize that they are not two things but they are all belonging to the same family that is mammals. We are trying to reconcile our knowledge about mammals, similarly in other cases also. So integrating knowledge which we have learnt into one is called integrative reconciliation. So students, today we learned that concept formation involves two processes. They are 
progressive differentiation and integrative reconciliation. If the teacher is to form clear concepts, the teacher is to facilitate progressive differentiation and integrative reconciliation in the minds of the students. So, the teacher whenever she or he explains, they will start with the main concept, then go on progressively differentiating with the help of a concept map or a flow chart and then you synthesize the information which you have given starting from the bottom towards the top so that we are able to integrate the information which you have given into a whole and also enable them to transfer their learning from different subjects and help them to realize that whether they learn under science or geography or any other topic whatever concept is learned is the same. Thank you.